Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So as we know, the education system in America especially, and even in some schools here in Australia, believe it or not, are going down the road of indoctrinating young kids because as I've said many, many times, that if you can get the minds of a young kid, you can change a generation and not oftentimes for the better. So our teachers are really, really important. Having teachers that don't indoctrinate, don't put on their own beliefs to the child, let's say, they don't share about their sex life, they don't do any of those inappropriate things, then you actually end up with a reasonable, healthy upbringing for a child, not just in a school environment, but same goes for a home environment as well. But unfortunately, in America and even here in Australia, especially in Canada as well, you have a lot of these teachers that go down the LGBT, whatever, nonsensical route, and they think that it's okay and it's a must that they need to share about their sex lives and everything they're doing in the bedroom with young kids. And apparently because a child asks them the question, hey, uh, what about your partner or what about what do you do this X, Y, and Z? Look, kids are naturally curious. I totally get that. But you as an adult should know better. You don't have to answer the child. You can actually, because a kid, changes his mind fairly quickly you can not answer that child and you can change the subject fairly quickly and they won't really care too much about it and if they do end up bringing up that question again at a later date just do the same thing again it's none of their business and they need to know that it's none of their business but for this particular teacher this woke teacher that uh happens to be trans so this dude that identifies as being a woman who happens to also be in a polyamorous relationship. Don't ask me how in the world that works. I don't even believe that it does work. Uh, that's a, another video for another time. But this person seems to pride himself on being a very, very open teacher. Not, according to him, not telling the child about his sex life is apparently lying. No, you're actually being smart and wise. You don't have to answer the question to a child in particular. Like if a child asks you a very inappropriate question, why do you feel the need to answer that question? Why? It's better for you as an adult just to go, none of your business, mate. That is totally fine. It's actually a lot healthier for you to go, no, you don't need to know about it. It's none of your business. I had that happened to me all the time. I was a young, curious kid. I would ask all these weird, wild and outrageous questions. And I had a lot of adults say, it's none of your business. Don't worry about it. It's all good. You wouldn't be able to understand it anyway. But for these teachers, which I find really, really sad and actually annoying to the fact that they are a teacher and they are indoctrinating a young kid on something that that young kid should not actually know about. It's called... Uh, sexualization of a child. Now, I want you guys to have a watch about this person on TikTok contemplating telling his students all about his polyamorous sex life and relationship, and he was not going to be happy until he tells them all about it because apparently one of his students wants to ask him. He hasn't even asked him yet, but he knows that the question is going to come up, so he's trying to figure out how to answer it. I pride myself on being a teacher who's very open about her life. And one of the things I'm very open about is my sexuality. I have a trans flag, a bi flag, a non-binary flag, all on my desk at my work. But there's one thing I'm not open about, and it's being poly. And today that actually became something I had to worry about for the first time. See, the kids are interviewing us teachers as a part of learning how to write profiles on others. They'll soon be doing it with each other, but they're starting with the teachers so they can all work together on one subject. And one of the kids on Tuesday is going to ask me if I have a partner. And the answer is, yeah. And I have another one too. And I don't know how to handle that conversation because while I know that the kids are more accepting of things like homosexuality, bisexuality, all of that, polyamory is not in the conversation. It's not something that is talked about. And I worry not only would this be something that might lead to rumors that I am cheating on my partner or that I am a swinger or something like that, but would also just totally derail the class. So the obvious answer, the one that I went to first, is I'm not going to talk about it. But that feels wrong too. I don't like lying to my students. I don't like telling them falsehoods. And also, I don't feel comfortable answering the question by saying, yes, I have a partner, and having to pick which one I pick as the face for my relationship. That feels 
super, super gross, right? So I guess what tentatively I've decided after talking with my co-teachers and my assistant principal is maybe the right way to do it is answer the question honestly. Say, while I don't feel comfortable talking about who I'm in a relationship with in this specific setting, I will say that I am bisexual. I've dated people of many different genders. Um, and if you're willing, if you're interested to talk about that or my own specific relationship, if you're really, really insistent, let's just not do it in the classroom setting and we can do it like in lunch or in the after school GSA club or something like that, where maybe it's a little bit more of an acceptable and understanding situation to bring this up. Now, this is a long rambling thing, and that story has kind of wrapped itself up neatly, or at least it will on Tuesday. But I think it talks to a much broader issue, which is that like, this is a really nuanced thought process I had to have where I had to consider uh, the emotional maturity of the kids, where I had to consider what they already know and are talking about and what they don't know and aren't talking about, and also have to consider how does this fit in with the content that I'm teaching. And the fact of the matter is, this is not a conversation that conservatives are having at all. They've decided that carpet, like blanket statement, like you can't do this at all. There's no place for it. And that just shows such a lack of thought and care. They're not understanding their people, their children as people and where they're at. They're not understanding the content that is necessary and they're not reckoning with any kind of reality. Yeah, maybe like this is going to be an uncomfortable situation that may lead to some strange conversations, but that's part of being a person. And I'd rather have the kids be able to have those conversations in a safe place at school than on the internet where there's no one to make sure they're learning the right respectful information. Naturally, the one thing you are most open about is your sexuality. So why exactly? Why does it matter that people know that you're part of the LGB whatever community? What? Who cares? I find it absolutely amazing in today's day and age that people exactly need to know how you swing, how you act in the bedroom with a particular partner or by yourself or what, whatever you watch. Like people are so adamant these days and that's where they uh, use pride. One of the, the most deadly sin of all, by the way, it's the cardinal sin. They use that and they try and say, oh, but, um, we don't actually mean pride. It's just being, you know, happy about being oneself and, and their sexuality. Why? Who actually cares whether or not you do X, Y, and Z in the bedroom? It's your, it's your own private life. But today's day and age, it is a must. And kids somehow, according to these teachers, need to know about it. Kids. I mean, I don't know about you, but... That's just inappropriate. And secondly, that is, again, sexualizing kids, and it's actually real abuse of a child, taking away a child's innocence at a very young age. It's just disgusting. But no, teachers are allowed to do it. You're allowed to hang pride flags. You're allowed to hang trans flags. You're allowed to hang whatever you want and let every single child know, even though they don't fully understand it, how you swing. You say, yeah. And secondly... The rest is none of your business. Just go with that. Or, yeah, simple. You don't have to go, oh, and there's something else to the mix. Like a child does not need to know the rest of your life um, and how you decide to have partners. See, that's what I mean. Like you're confusing the child even more by going down the road of saying, oh, I'm polyamorous. The child's going, what? What is that exactly? Please, please do elaborate. Please do tell me. And when you try and explain that to a child, I don't think a child's even going to get it if I'm being honest with you, but alas, this person wants to do it and he's conflicted. Polyamory is not in the conversation. It's not. So the kids are accepting of homosexuality, bisexuality, whatever the hell that means, but they're not really open to polyamory because it's not talked about enough. So this is the first time according to this teacher, that if that question was to come up, he would be able to talk about it to this child. Now, let me get this straight. You're just going to confuse that child even more by saying that you are in a polyamorous relationship. And why does that child care exactly? Why? Why does it matter? Well, it doesn't really matter, but you're going to make it matter because you are proud. That's the problem with all this. It's all about you. And you don't care who you bring down with you. It's all about you, your gratification, and you 
letting everybody know how you decide to swing. That is part of the LGBT whatever movement. It is you must. There's no discretion anymore. It's just you must know. And if you don't know, then you're out of the loop. And God forbid that you're out of the loop. Who gives a crap? Honestly. Especially kids. Talked about. And I worry not only would this be something that might lead to rumors that I am cheating on my partner or that. So you're worried if a kid uh, asks you this question, you don't answer it truthfully according to yourself. And that somehow leads to rumors being spread by the kids that you are apparently cheating on your other partner. Now, let me, let me get this straight. Polyamory is literally cheating. <laughs> You claim to have one partner, but then you've got another partner. So you're cheating on one partner with somebody else. That is the whole point of polyamory. But according to you guys, you say that you are in love with one, but you're not cheating with another one because you love that one too. So you're trying to be even more selfish and get what you want and meet your own needs. It doesn't make any sense and it doesn't work because you end up hurting and you end up cheating on pretty much both people like or don't people understand that or get that i am a swinger or something like that but you you are a swinger mate you, you're swinging with somebody else <laughs> oh my goodness the way people try and rationalize this for themselves it makes zero sense so just totally derail the class so the obvious answer the one that i went yes you, well, the kids knowing about your polyamorous relationship is literally going to derail the class that you teach. And also, apparently, if your partner finds out that, not that your partner didn't already know that you are cheating on them with somebody else, although they won't see it as cheating, they'll see it as, oh, we've made a, cons a consensual obligation or we've decided to be with somebody else that so we've agreed upon that so therefore that's not cheating um hello that is cheating but apparently this is all going to derail his class two first is i'm not going to talk about it his first reaction and is the best reaction i'm not going to talk about it but it makes it worse that feels wrong too i don't like why does it feel wrong too i don't like lying to my students mate you're not lying to your students. Now, I don't know how old this person is, but I don't think he got the memo or was taught about discretion and how to answer kids, especially impressionable kids. I don't think he understands that or how to be an adult. Part of being an adult is knowing how to make wise decisions and choices and knowing what to say and when to say it. But alas, this person doesn't seem to care because according to him, he's lying to his kids by not, not telling them everything about his sex life. Lying to my students. I don't like telling them falsehoods. And also I don't feel comfortable answering the question by saying, yes, I have a partner and having to pick which one I pick as the face for my relationship. That feels. It doesn't matter whether or not you say you are in a relationship and whose face you pick either one. It doesn't matter. Like you, you're cheating on one, one of both of them. Like it, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. But uh, I, I'm I'm conflicted right now. So obviously the logical thing to do is put yourself up on Twitch, TikTok, and get the internet's response on how to fix this dilemma. Super super gross, right? So I guess what tentatively... Yes, that's super, super gross, isn't it? Like, uh, good grief, this person. I did after talking with my co-teachers and my assistant principal is maybe the right way to do it is answer the question honestly. Say, while I don't feel comfortable talking about who I'm in a relationship with in this specific setting, I will say that I am bisexual. I've dated people of many different genders. Um, and if you're willing, if you're interested to... See, there you have it. The indoctrination straight up. So it's not bad enough that you're answering the question wholly. You're actually explaining every single detail. You're bisexual, whatever the hell that means. And you've dated multiple people, different genders, apparently, and all that sort of stuff that no kid can fully understand or even comprehend or has any business knowing. No, you've even gone to your principal and the principal has, assistant principal has given you permission to do it. Same with these teachers. I mean, what the, 
hell kind of school are you teaching at? Obviously a woke one that is, loves the indoctrination of little kids by the looks of things. Talk about that or my own specific relationship that you're really, really insane. None of the adults in the room here thought it would be a good idea to say, don't answer the question. Don't explain everything to the child. Don't explain none of it. Like, just say, I'm not comfortable talking about it. Go on to a different question. I'm sure there's a myriad of other questions that child could ask you, but according to you, that child is going to ask you about your relationship and, and that's just going to make things more difficult for you, is it? Said, let's just not do it in the classroom setting and we can do it like in lunch or in the after school GSA club or something like that, where maybe it's a little bit more of an acceptable and understanding situation to bring this up. Uh, let me just be clear. There's no acceptable situation for you to bring any of this up. Not in the classroom, not at lunch, not at recess, nowhere, no time at all for you to bring any of this up to a child. Otherwise we can call that grooming. Now, this is a long rambling thing, and that story has kind of wrapped itself up neatly, or at least it will on Tuesday, but I think it talks to a much- He's future projecting so, uh, something that hasn't even happened yet. So, like, how is this person a teacher? How? Doesn't even know any basic fundamentals of what to say and, and what not to say broader issue which is that like this is a really nuanced thought process i had to have where i had to consider uh the emotional maturity of the kids where i had to consider what they already know and are talking about and what they don't know and aren't talking about and also I have to consider how does this fit in with the content that i'm teaching and the fact of the matter is this is not a conversation that conservatives are having at all they've decided that purpose yes let's bring up the this is not a conversation that conservatives are having at all. Why is that? Because we want to protect the minds of our young kids. Like we don't want to sexualize our young kids and remove their innocence straight up as a kid. Let's just throw out all of this information that no child has any business knowing. But these liberal teachers are going, oh, the child can handle it. The child knows. And you have any wonder why you have literally the statistics of young kids identifying as being part of the LGBT, whatever community you look at the statistics for conservatives, that's not even existent really. Like it's, it's, I don't even know what the statistics are for conservatives, but I don't believe that you have many, if any young people identifying as being part of the LGBT, whatever community, but in liberal schools and liberal areas, for sure, the statistics are through the roof, man. Why is that? You've got to ask yourself, like the level of indoctrination and same goes for kids that are on social media as well. What they're seeing, what they're being taught is a social contagion, people. These people, this teacher is responsible for it. If you're telling a child something and you're confusing that child, then obviously that child is going to go, oh, maybe the teacher, whatever they're, they're, they're teaching me is actually right. They don't fully understand it yet. They can't fully consent to it, but the teacher is going to say it anyway. You wonder why we've got a massive problem in our society already. Like a blanket statement, like you can't do this at all. There's no place for it. And that's exactly, there is no place for it. Like there's being honest and there's being what this person is being abusive to the child. You're not lying to the child by not telling them something they have no business knowing. I don't, I don't see where you're missing that in your brain, but no, this is apparently a conservative issue because we're trying to protect the minds of our youth. Shows such a lack of thought and care. They're not understanding their people, their children as people and where they're at. They're not understanding the content that is necessary and they're not reckoning with any kind of reality. Yeah, maybe like this is going to be an uncomfortable situation that may lead to some strange conversations, but that's part of being a person. It's part of being an adult, not a child. If you were to have this kind of conversation with a child at all, firstly, why? But ask yourself that question. Why are you having that conversation with a child? What business does that child have knowing this information? Ask yourself that question. So conservatives are doing the right thing, but apparently 
according to this teacher, they're not because they're not having difficult and uncomfortable conversations revolving around your sex life. They're just trying to keep things innocent for as long as humanly possible before they're no longer innocent. Ever think about that? No, you don't care I'd about that. Have the kids be able to have those conversations in a safe place at school than on the internet where there's no one to make sure. That Let me just be clear, mate. They are going to have that conversation on the internet. What do you think that child is going to do when he gets home? After he's spoken to you, the likelihood of him going up online and saying, Hey, I had a conversation with my teacher at school today about X, Y, and Z, about his sexuality, about him being polyamorous. What do you guys think about that? What do you think the child is actually going to do? Do you think he's going to remain quiet about it? No, no, no. He's going to spread it, man. He's going to spread it. But that's just what you get when you tell a child something they have no business knowing. Child, children talk. The, the likelihood of them keeping it to themselves is very, very rare. They open up. Why do you think, again, the statistics for kids identifying as being LGBT, whatever, is so bloody high? Because kids talk. They get indoctrinated by teachers. And if you're not part of the group, then you're ostracized. And what do people want? What do young kids want? They want connection. They want meaning. They want to feel like they are involved in a community sense. You're taking that away from them. If a child doesn't identify as being part of this group, then they're going to feel strange. They're going to feel different. You wonder why we've got so many problems in society, don't you? But this teacher won't stop until all these kids that he's teaching knows exactly everything about his apparent sex life. There you have it, people. Another insane person that has no business being in the classroom and teaching your kids. So protect your kids as much as you possibly can. From the likes of people like you just saw. You guys take care. You be blessed. I'll see you all in the next video.